All right, hello and welcome. I'm Davis, and uh, I have a very different type of video today. This is a video that I've wanted to do for a long time, where I draw characters. Now, I'm gonna be just very clear with you. I'm not an artist at all. I'm expecting this to be funny bad. I'm not expecting this to be actually good. So, for what we're gonna be drawing with today, we got a dry erase marker. Probably not a good idea. A pencil with no tip, a mechanical pencil, and another pencil with a questionable tip to it. But we also got crayons, colored pencils, and watercolor markers. None of these are actually mine. I am kind of stole them just for this video, so I gotta put them back when I'm done. But let's just, you know, don't. Don't, don't tell anybody that. Um, if you don't know how this type of video works, this is not my idea. I have seen other people do this, and that's what made me do it because want to do it because I love these type of videos, and I thought my twist on it with being somebody who can't draw crap might be interesting. So I use ChatGPT to create a list of five video game characters. Two of them are popular, and then they become less popular and like more obscure as the list goes on. And they only describe like physical attributes as well as like personality attributes. I don't know the names of any of these. I have not read them. So I'm going to draw the character strictly based off of the character's description. You know, let's just let's let's go slow. Let's go slow into it. So for the first one, I'm going to use uh, a very dull tipped pencil and i also i don't so this i have like lined paper but then i also have this which is like newspaper paper but it's like in these really weird strips so <laughs> so the first character is clad in a sleek futuristic exosuit adorned with glowing neon accents projecting an aura of technological power Prowse. Prowse? Their posture is confident and authoritative, with keen, calculating gaze that misses nothing. Despite their composed demeanor, they possess a dry sense of humor and a penchant for sardonic remarks. Ooh, and I added on top of this, which is going to be a great idea, is the fact that um, I haven't played a lot of video games. Okay, so what are they? They're sleek, futuristic exosuit. So I've watched... Um, a bunch of people make videos like this, but that's not true. I've only really watched one person. So here is our confident person. Look at that. Uh, his hips don't even attach to his body. That's okay. All right. So there. Let's let's just create a person first. That's person. But let's create a bigger person. All right. Um. <laughs> All right, I already screwed this up. Let's go to the other side. Okay, so I'm going to create somebody who is authoritative, confident, and keen calculating gaze. So what does a keen calculating gaze, calculating gaze look like? Okay, that's their head. A calculating gaze is going to be like, hmm, like they're going to, they're going to, they're going to squint their eyes. Which, okay, what does calculating look for me? That's what I look like when I calculate. Okay. Okay. Well, they're kind of gritting their teeth now, but that works too. Um, let's draw a nose. It doesn't say they're wearing a helmet or anything. A dry sense of humor. Hey, that actually might fit with the with the uh, kind of grin. All right. Let's uh let's put some eyebrows up. So they look intense, but their eyebrows say otherwise because uh, you know, humor. Give them some curly hair. A little cleft in the chin. Let's give them a sardonic remark sardonic makes me think of sardines exosuit give it a a neck part <laughs> okay oh uh, shoot the proportions are off <laughs> i have a guess of who this might be i don't think it's actually them because i feel like the description would be different i am gonna draw inspiration draw literally <laughs> from what i think they might be again i don't think it's the person i'm actually thinking of but this exosuit has a hand cannon on it see that okay now we're getting really far down their legs are gonna have to somehow match oh geez okay what does exosuit boots look like <laughs> my my poor microphone is just getting assaulted by this pencil with neon lights so let's create some neon lights through here that's what neon lights look like hey that actually doesn't look too bad that looks kind of that looks kind of dope uh, for the first one we're gonna stay we're gonna stay completely black and white because i should be able to look watch aurora of neon lights see look at neon lights making them glow we're gonna call this person sam moose that's what their name's gonna be sam moose i'm going to reveal commander shepherd from mass effect well i've never played mass effect let's uh let's look up uh who commander no way no way 
No way. This is who I was drawing? Why? How? I, I don't want to, okay, I don't want to pat myself on the back right now, but why does that almost work? Are you seeing that? Okay, uh, so Samos, or, because I thought it would have been Samus, Commander Sh... Uh, uh, am I spelling Shepard right? Moving on to the next one. I'm going to draw it with the pencil again, but then um, we're going to... I'm going to add color to this one with colored pencils. So for the second one, we have an adorned and rugged armor adorned with tribal markings, blending seamlessly with natural environment. Okay, so we have like more of like a camouflage, maybe rustic idea. They move with a primal grace, displaying a mix of fierce determination and underlining vulnerability. Okay, so they're determined, but they're vulnerable. Already I have somebody in my head, but I'm not sure. While often reserved, they harbor a deep sense of loyalty to their tribe and allies, willing to make sacrifices for the greater good. All right, when it says that it has a deep sense of loyalty to their tribe and allies, the tribe part makes me think that it's not who's in my head. If you have an idea, put it in the comments of it, of what it is before I before I reveal it and then you'll get you'll get super smart bonus points don't worry they're real now my first thought of who it is doesn't dress like this but with the armor it makes me think of almost like Groot or like the Dark Souls dart blowing guys are like made of wood so let's draw let's draw somebody here why is their face shape always like that I don't know and we'll give them eyes they move with primal grace they harbor a deep sense of loyalty to their tribe and they're willing to make sacrifices to the good good so these this is a good person at heart explain a mix of fierce determination and underlining vulnerability okay so determination is gonna look like this but vulnerability is gonna be like <gasps> yeah there we go for this person we're gonna give her. I swear, I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't draw, I've never taken an art class before, so don't let these fancy lines confuse you or distract you from the fact that I I don't know how to draw. So what does Graceful look like? Graceful tells me that they're like... <laughs> my, okay, my, 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 my picture? Is there like, whoa, sneaking through the woods, you know? You know, maybe we're going for more of a cartoon drawing here. And then the legs are gonna be like that? Oh, no. Oh, uh, well, I was gonna give them boots. No, but if they're graceful, we gotta give them feet. Ah, uh, well... <laughs> that is not exactly what I was going for. I was going more for like a crouching, like, ooh, you know, I'm... I'm Sneaking through the woods. We got, okay, we got the, the, the graceful primal grace, all right? Those aren't rollerblades, those are toes. Rugged armor adorned with tribal markings. All right, so we're gonna give him armor plates on the chest, well, more like stomach. And then to give him an environment that they're running through. That's a tree in the distance. We have the base down, so let's, uh, let's add some color. And then I thought that was brown but it's not. Her armor is gonna kind of match, but she wears an undersuit, like a leotard, that is green. So it kind of like helps her blend into her surrounding as she's gracefully determined, but vulnerably attacking people. Assuming that this is an attacking character in a game. Camera, focus. Hope, I'm hoping these cameras still stay in focus. And then tribal markings. So tribal makes me think of red. Man, whoever had these pencils last really knows how to sharpen these things. Alright, tribal markings. She's got like black socks on to kind of blend into the environment. And then some face paint. Some red face paint. A little splash of green in between the vulnerability. Alright, now this character needs a name. Now, my thought, let me know what your thought was, but my thought on who this character was, Crora Loft, because my thought is that this is like Laura Croft. It doesn't, like I said, it lost me when it said tribe, so I don't think, I don't think it's her. My other guess, and I haven't played it, is Horizon Zero Dawn. Maybe it's that person. I don't know their name, I've never played the game, so let's see. Alloy, Horizon Zero Dawn. Alloy, Horizon Zero. So I was right with my second guess, I was right. But what does she look like? Again, if I was a really good artist, I feel like I would be way closer than you think. Look at that. I am thinking along the right lines. The tribal markings and everything. She's wearing, she has more blue and stuff. That's pretty close. I mean, I'm pretty happy with that. So it's not, it's not a uh, Chloraloft. Her name is Alloy. 
because an alloy is like a ooze that comes from a tree, I think. All right, moving on to the next one. Did you get it right? I don't know. Maybe you did. I, there's no really way to tell, except unless I look at the comments now or after the video is posted and uh, and see if you got any right. You could have just looked ahead and, and lied, but I trust my viewers. I trust you guys that you would not do that to me. All right, for this next one, I'm going to try to go big, bigger, go bigger, go home. That's that's what we're doing here. So we're getting rid of the little piece of paper and we're using good old lined paper here, but we need this entire canvas. So we're turning it landscape style. So for the next character, clad in ornate robes adorned with mystical symbols emanating an aura of mystery and wisdom. Okay, so I'm thinking kind of like a religious or like mage thing. They carry themselves with serene calmness. So they kind of float, often found in deep meditation or communing with unseen forces. What did I say? Mage. Despite their ethereal presence, they possess a mischievous streak and enjoy testing the limits of their powers. Okay, so that tells me that they're younger. So they have wisdom and they have power and they kind of float around, kind of like Darth Sidious, but if he was 20. I have no freaking clue. Of course, I'm gonna think Dark Souls again because everything I do, I play Dark Souls a lot. I'm thinking it's like the, like the mages that go, oi, 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 with their staff, and then they shoot it at you. So I'm gonna go a totally different route with this one. I got good old trusty crayons, all right? Ooh, this is gonna be difficult with crayons because I was just gonna do like a black robe. You know what? With this one, we're gonna do colored markers, but I have to draw the base down first with pencil. So I'm thinking he's kind of kind of be like oh, floating with his arms out. This is going to be bro like this, you know, I never said that he was human. This is kind of a difficult one for me because robes kind of take up most of the area. Okay. Those are the sleeves. So we'll get rid of these lines like that. That's like his lace up boots because this dude's cool. All right. And then his hoodie. Nope, that's not what a hoodie looks like. He's got to have a hood on. He's got to have a hood. All right, like that. The hood, how about the hood kind of goes over their face like that. Okay, those just look creepy, but I'm going to actually give him slits for eyes. Let's erase the pupil because I'll add pupil with markers later because it's young and what is it? Uh, possesses a mischievous streak. Let's give it a smile. Let's give them a smile like that. So their, their, their ornate robes are adorned with mystical symbols. So that will add in color, but let's uh, let's darken these lines first, which I just realized we don't have hands for them, but that's okay because their their hands are like in the robes and their cool boots are there. Let's just darken. So nice, big, thick lines like that. That's that part of the cloak. Like that, like that, and like that. That's why it always pays. I'm talking as if I'm actually teaching art here, but I have no idea what I'm doing. But I was gonna say, that's why it pays to always draw your lines first. All right, and then that will be his waist. So now we kind of have the basic outline, um, but we are going to darken this shadow area. Let's do his facial features. So there's the eye, nose, and the mischievous smile. A little too smiley, but that's okay. Now, because they have mystical powers, they're strong, I'm gonna give them a red eye. So one eye's red, one eye's just normal and black, but it's gonna kinda show that they have like a little too much power. Maybe they've let it get to their hands. Speaking of hands, let's show some magic, shall we? Purple clouds of magic. Kind of questioning if this person is good or is bad. We don't really know, but they're kind of surrounded by an aurora, aura, an aura of magic power. <laughs> I'm getting a little too into this. This is supposed to be just a joke, but I'm actually enjoying this. But then red to kind of match their thing is adornments. And I may have just screwed up this whole thing because I don't really know what adornments are. I mean, I do, but just imagine that these are kind of adornments on the cloak. So. Who is this guy gonna be called? Let's call him. I have no clue. I have absolutely no clue who this could be. I don't even know. So we're gonna call him Mr. Magic. Magica. Mr. Magica. There we go. Uh, let's find out who this is then. Lula, Final Fantasy X. Well, I have no idea who that is. Oh, interesting. That was not where I went with this. Oh, hmm. Okay, let's just try to find some actual game images. All right, I have not played Final Fantasy X, but there we go. So, um, adornments. Now I get it. Black robe. 
Kind of got it. Uh, covering the one eye. I mean, that's pretty cliche. That happens a lot, but I had an idea. But look at this one. I don't- this isn't official game, I don't think, but it's all purpley. That's pretty cool. A lot of straps, though. Wow. I didn't put, put that in there. Alright, uh, this might be my furthest one off from what it is, but again, that was a hard one to draw. So, instead of Mr. Magic, we're now gonna have to switch it to Lula. If, uh, if any of you got that right, you get two super epic bonus points. We'll try to go through this a little quicker. Going for a little while already. Draped in tattered clothing with a haunted look in their eyes, suggesting a troubled past. They move with cautious yet determined gait, always on edge, ready to defend themselves at a moment's notice. Beneath their rough exterior lies a compassionate heart, though they struggle to trust others due to their past betrayals. Well, this doesn't give us much of a physical description very much, so this might be a little difficult, but it does give us a lot of emotional descriptions. So, tattered clothing, so I'm going to draw someone who looks like they're on edge, kind of. For some reason, I imagine this person to be in the woods, kind of running. All right, there's their shoe. So they're kind of running, and they have a hand in the air, and the reason that I had the hand in the air was because there was going to be a tree that uh, they were kind of holding on to the branch of. I don't really know why. Okay, so that's kind of our outlined look for what it's gonna be. Let's go into what they're wearing now. So, tattered clothing, right? So kind of draped off of them. Let's uh, create holes in the clothing. I'm actually gonna just rip it right at the, at the legs like that. And then we are gonna put a rope to kind of hold up their pants. So that means they are barefoot. No, they have moccasins. All right, they have like little shoes just because I don't want to draw feet. <laughs> All right, so that's kind of like their clothing setup. Cautious yet determined gait. Yeah, yeah, so okay, that makes sense. So they're running, but they're kind of holding onto the tree because they're cautious yet determined. Always on edge, ready to defend themselves. So kind of a little like, like, oh, huh? but also determined. So kind of, you know, a little bit of vulnerable with the mouth, but also that. Oh, like that. They do have a compassionate heart, though. How do you show a compassionate heart? I don't know, but I'm gonna give this person, even though I was kind of going for like, this does not say compassionate to me at all, but I just thought for some reason, I'm gonna give a backwards baseball cap. I have no freaking clue why, and that doesn't say compassionate to me. You know what? This is how we say compassionate. They are bringing a big old mug of tea to somebody, and they don't want to spill it. That shows compassion. That shows how compassionate they are. That'll kind of outdo the backwards hat. So they have, they kind of have a bad past, and I think that kind of shows with everything else that we've done here. Now, let's do, I, I'm going to do the outline again. I have absolutely no clue who this might be. I did have an idea when it said, like, bad past, although I haven't played it. My f my only thought so far that has come to my come to, come to my head, because I have no idea otherwise. If it's not this person, I couldn't even tell you. I'm not even confident that it is this person. But my first thought was, I think his name's Joel from Last of Us? I don't even know. I don't even know. But the dude, because they're compassionate, I think he's compassionate in the game, but he has a bad past. That sounds about right. I've never played the game. I've never even watched it be played. I have no idea, but that is my first thought. I think the girl's name is Ellie. So he is bringing this cup of tea to Ellie. So there's a little hard on it. Just like that. We're going to go full color with this one. I got, I'm getting markers all over my fingers. So this will be their skin. Now they kind of look like George of the Jungle or Tarzan swinging through the trees. Again, that's okay. The pants will be like a dark brown. I'm trying to stylistically not fully color them in. The dude's got blue sneakers on. Why not? I think blue sneakers would be cool. And a blue hat, because now that I have the blue out, we're just going to go blue with it. So this is the tree, and this is the tree that he's holding on to. Does this look like Joel from Last of Us? I don't know, but in case it doesn't, his name is Paul. I think that looks pretty interesting. My, uh, my true art abilities are coming through. All right, so that was number four. Let's look. Lee Everett, The Walking Dead, Season 1. That is a zombie apocalyptic person. Oh, it's this dude. I remember this dude. I did play a little bit of this game. Apparently he loses an arm and that might spoil something for me. It's an interesting, I, I can't think it's uh, not the closest, but it's an interesting, it's an interesting uh, idea. All right, so we're gonna call him Leepole. 
because he's not exactly the Lee, but he's close. Moving on to the last one. Clad in flamboyant assemble of mismatched clothing accessories, exuding an eccentric charm, they move with an unpredicted energy, often switching between bouts of hyperactive and deep introspective. Despite their whimsical be demeanor, they possess a keen intellect of knack for solving puzzles and revealing mysteries. I have absolutely no clue when it comes to this one. We're gonna try to do fully crayon drawing with this one. Crayon crayon i say crayon okay so for being kind of crazy fun to hang around but they think deeply they're also really smart so that tells me that they are extremely big brained but they're also really good looking and look at this jawline look at this super big brained but also super good looking i mean what what's not to love here let's give them little ears because they do listen every once in a while unpredictable energy what what kind of is so the the way i'm going to show unpredictable energy is in their stance they got one hand up look at that see how unpredictable that was they're doing like the robot dance or something <laughs> that was unpredictable you didn't see that coming deep interest introspective so to show their deep introspective side i'm going to show them like kind of in a meditative pose with toes meditative pose with toes look at that they're meditating on this little boulder there we go oh, let me get the rest of these crayons out the boulder has like grass growing next to it you know you know how boulders are um and then with the boulder we'll, we'll just kind of color the boulder why am i spending a lot of time on the boulder before i even spend time on the character i don't know so they're, but their clothing is mismatched and whimsical i think it says clothing accessory including eccentric charm eccentric charm so when i think of eccentric i think of purple so this dude's got a super big purple necklace but then since it's mismatched we have a uh lighter color purple i thought that was going to be a different color <laughs> a lighter color purple sleeve Ooh, so crazy didn't expect that but also a green sleeve kind of looks like the grass and then what's really going to throw you off is a blue shirt just like that look at that unexpected and flamboyant as it said and then for the pants we're going deep purple on this side because he has some knack of matching except now i'm realizing no, none of those purples match so don't even remember what i said there this dude doesn't match anything there we go and we're gonna add no hair because brain too big they don't need hair and this is my drawing so now i have an idea i have a guess of who this might be i've again never played it i think it might be before I say, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give him a name. Big Brain Steve. Now my guess of who this might be, and I have no clue, but I'm guessing is it the dude from Baldur's Gate? I don't know why. Baldur's Gate 3, like the main dude that everybody likes? I'm not sure, but let's see. Guy Brush Threepwood Monkey Island series. Hold on a second. I mean, it's kind of uncanny how close that is. Also, I just wanna say. What the heck, though? That is so weird. I have never heard of Monkey Island. I just got done watching No Clips documentary about the making of Monkey Island, like, not two days ago. And now this gives me a Monkey Island reference. That is insane. I, it's just, that's such a weird coincidence. So, it's not Big Brain Steve, or maybe it is. Would you, what, what do you say? Do you say this is Big Brain Steve, or this is Guybrush Threepwood? Let me know in the comments below which, uh, which one you want to vote for. But if you got this one right, if you got the fifth one right, just from the description, you get five super epic bonus points. Keep track of your points. They might come in handy someday. Thank you for watching. I just had a fun time. I've been really tired lately, and I just kind of want to do something that was kind of chill and just uh, having fun. I don't know. We'll see how the video comes out. But yeah, thank you for watching. Peace.